Good afternoon guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the new season. Um, if you can just follow the same process we used to, obviously the Zoom option's been removed, so it's just the guys in the room. We'll start with Pete, please, from Scott. Pam, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Lovely to see you again. Glad to see you too. Had a nice summer. Yeah, very well. Can I just ask you your first chance to have a look at Liverpool this season, uh, tomorrow? Um, can I ask you just to reflect a little bit on what you expect this season? Is, is it going to be you and them again for the title, or do you see Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs, maybe even United? Can you, can you reflect a little? I don't know. Honestly, I promise you, if I would know it or I would be able to predict the future, I would let you know. So I don't know what's going to happen. So... But normally in Premier League, always there are many, many teams, and you expect that, but I don't know. Based on, on the transfer spending, though, of those clubs, would, would you expect challenges to come from just more than just Liverpool? Always, be, before the... I, I repeat the same, so I don't know. I expect, yes, a lot of clubs, like every single season, many clubs involved for the quality. The, the all of them they have in terms of of managers, players, history, uh, but I, I don't know. I know you don't like talking about players at other clubs, but Kukurea has just put a transfer request in at Brighton. How hopeful now are you that 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 deal can go through? He's right on player. I cannot say anything else. Is that a position in the team that you're still determined to try and strengthen in down the left hand side? If it's possible, yes, you know, we stay with what we have. So we have enough players, you all can play there, uh, Josh can play there, Nathan can play there. So I never complain about the the the, the squad I have uh, since the first season. So what the club can do is always the benefit for the club, not for me. For do our best and I support the club like always I've done. And can I also just ask you about the other big game this weekend in London on Sunday? A lot of your city players were involved in, in, the, uh, in the women's European final. How impressed have you been with, with England? Well, I think it deserves all the credit, the, the human football around the world, how they rise, how they are doing incredible good. So they deserve what they are getting because before, years ago, it was not media or uh, maybe it was not being followed like it is and it's happened because they are doing incredible things in terms of the way, the style, the way they play and of course I am part for I'm working here in England like of course before I was working in Germany I want the best for both and hopefully okay with a good final of course England can do like I'm here now a good a good game and Win it. It's a big success for both national teams to get the final. Of course, both of them, they want to win it. Uh, being an incredible scenario, like it's Wembley, I think the crowd will be completely full and uh, hopefully they can enjoy a good game and win the best team. And uh, yeah, congratulations, honestly. So it's so nice, you know, being in England and arrive at the final is, is a big achievement. Um, hi, Pep, hope you're okay. Um, You've generated a huge amount of money this summer in terms of the sale of players, Raheem Zinchenko and Jesus in particular. Are you confident, or well, you will be confident that you can overcome that? But that is three big players that have served you for a long time that won't be replaced that easily. Yeah, I agree, I agree, I completely agree with you. So if you analyse what what happened in the last years uh, without these important players would have been difficult to imagine it. So, in terms of the influence on the pitch, off the pitch, for many, many reasons. So, but today in the world football, is this kind of situations happen. We wish him, wish them, all of them the best. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, the revenue people, that they settle my feeling quickly. Uh, in terms of they are incredible, well accepted. They think is all of that so down on the earth and very humble people. And uh, then yeah, we are going to try for the the Dennis Manchester City, not this play or the other one. We are all of us, and we are going to try to be competitive team. Tomorrow start the first title. It's an honor to play again. That means we play 
to play this competition to win the Premier League UEFA Cup. So always a big success to be there. We're going to to try to do good game against. We know, we know each other quite well at of opponent. Uh, we'll dictate a little bit how is our moment, our level. We just two weeks and a half, three weeks of of precision is is too short. But at the same time, I saw many good things in this in this period, the two games we played, and and uh, yeah, with the guys we we have, we are going to move forward. And just in terms of Calvin Phillips and Erling Haaland in particular, first of all, are they both fit to play? And also, how um, important is it for them to get used to? competing for trophies even though this is a kind of pre-season match it's still a game with a trophy and Manchester City are used to winning trophies yeah but not just for them for the new four players for Stefan from from Julian uh, yeah for, for all of us the title of course we want to try to 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 win it is better it's better start winning than losing uh, and yeah, it's good, but it's good for City. It's not for a specific place, for all of us. Hi, Pep. Um, do you expect the new players to take a little bit of time to get used to Manchester City's way of playing? Do you expect them to take time to bed in? Hopefully not. As quick uh, as quick they settle, will be better. Hopefully not. I, in my feeling, they will not take time. I think Stefan surprises a lot how good is in all the aspects in the goal and when the our build up and the other three guys Calvin know the Premier League perfectly and I think the way they settle the way they listen the way they behave the the few minutes they play or the few games we played I think they're going to to set quick perhaps more than last season in particular there's been quite a few changes quite a few players out quite a few players coming in is this the kind of reset to the squad that you wanted, you needed. Sometimes the transfer, the the transfer market dictate what you want to do. Sometimes in the first season we arrive, we try to loan players or sell players. You couldn't do anyone. And this season, I don't know, happened in two three weeks. I still I have I don't know thirty or forty days, and the end of that uh, transfer window will be over, and it's already done. So. Sometimes you want to do things, but not depends on just how good we are, or how bad we are. Dictate for the situations, and these situations happen qu quicker than than we expected. Hi, Pep. Um, just to check on the the squad. I know uh, Emmerich Laporte didn't travel to the US with you. How is he, is he available for the, the start of the season? Who? Uh, Laporte. Laporte is injured. Have a surgery surgery after the. The last season, like he played the last two three games with an important injury, he made an incredible effort. But of course, he could not continue to to do that. He made a surgery. He, so far, it's going really really well. But we have to be careful because it was a knee, and hopefully, in, I don't know, need the time. And I, I think August will be will be out, but maybe in September start to be with us. We'll see. Okay, uh, can you talk on, on Liverpool? Mo Salah's got a great record against City. Did you still see him as the the main danger man? And how do you who uh, Mo Salah? How, how do you stop a player like that? No, it's a, I'm not going to say something new about uh, this player because uh, all of us in this room knows him. So he's an exceptional player, an incredible threat, a top goal scorer, and yeah, we know that his quality. Try to win. He can score if we win. So do we try to win the game? That's going to do. Hi, Pep. Um, of course, you already highlighted the importance of the players that left the club. Uh, but since this is your seventh season at City, is it good in a way to change a bit of the squad, change a bit of the personnel, to, to bring people that haven't won anything with City yet, to bring new spirit to the club? Sometimes, but if, if uh, the three players or a lot, in, in many important players, the academy as well, we, we we have been sold and should have been still stay with us, I'd be incredibly happy. I know them, we know each other, and I know them that will continue to do what, uh, what they have done this season. But uh, what I said before, the intention or intention, sometimes the market dictates your, your decisions. The, the wishes for sometimes the club, the wishes sometimes for the players, it's happened. Sometimes the wish the player wanted and the wish of the club 
it not suit perfect for the player. It never happened this type of deals. In this situation, it's happened for one side, for the other side, for both sides, and it happened. And when that happened, you know, we we make our replacements, and 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 they are here. And now we help these guys. So normally, when a project was six, seven, six, seven years, you are not seven years with the same people. So any club do that. So just uh, when I arrived, just Kevin is the only player still is here. So this kind of situation happened. Important is the you know the stability of the club, do what you have to do and move forward. And the guys of course the gratitude for the guys have been here, not just Alex Rahim and Gabriel. So last season, the previous seasons, all the players have been have made this incredible contribution to the who we are, to be able tomorrow to play in our final. It's only it can be it can be grateful and Hopefully they can fill it. Is that the embargo for 10 this evening, please? Jim?